Hi guys, Mulas here. If you've ever tried to do a crowdfunding, maybe a GoFundMe, Kickstarter, or any of these other uh, sites, and you are not in America or Europe, you've probably found that it doesn't work in your countries. So I've always tried to see what alternatives exist for people like us who are in Africa or parts of Asia, parts of South America. Can they also do a crowdfunding with something like Bitcoin? So I'm going to try uh, to show you one site that I've found which offers uh, a Bitcoin crowdfunding. It claims to be a Bitcoin alternative uh, to Patreon, GoFundMe and the likes. And uh, it says that uh, all your donations come straight to you with zero charges. I'm going to sign up, uh, start a campaign and um, we'll see. I'll do an update after one month to show whether or not I have received anything and uh, we'll see. So let's sign up. The site is called uh, tallyco.in. I'll put the link in the description. You sign up with uh, Twitter. So you need to have a Twitter account to sign up and uh, simply go here where it says sign in. And it's going to connect to your Twitter, verify you have an account and uh, you shall be able to start. Alright, so it says we're directing you back to the application. This may take a few moments. Okay, it's done. Alright, so it has connected to my Twitter account. Uh, there, that's my Twitter handle uh, at Molos. You can follow me if you want. Alright, so it's a very, very straightforward uh, platform. It basically, says start a new fundraiser. My fundraisers uh, receive payments. Okay, so let me open up my uh, Bitcoin wallet. Just give me a second. Alright, so before you can use uh, Tallyco.in, it's preferable that you have a Bitcoin wallet. If you don't have a Bitcoin wallet, they can open a Bitcoin wallet for you. The Bitcoin wallet that I use is Electrum. Uh, it's quite a handy Bitcoin wallet and it allows you to open multiple wallets. So you can open new wallets if you want. Um, it gives you a bit of uh, flexibility in managing your wallet. Alright, so let's go back to Talico. So let's start our fundraising. Simply cl click on uh, start fundraiser. It's relatively straightforward. Uh, simply uh, start a new fundraiser, bring your own Bitcoin address and we'll tally incoming donations. That's uh, what it's going to be doing. So select um, the currency that you are, your fundraising goal, whether you want Bitcoins, like maybe one Bitcoin, 0 0.1 Bitcoin, three Bitcoins, or if you want a US dollar amount, you can put either of that. I'll just put US dollar amount. Then here, input your Bitcoin address. If I go on to my uh, Electrum and you want to find your Bitcoin address, go to here where it says receive, and you can click on the copy icon here. You can click on the copy icon here. That's copied it to the clipboard. Go back to uh, your tallyco.in page and paste your Bitcoin address. So there it is, my Bitcoin address is there. And here you can select goal type, how we calculate your goal, uh, whether it's ongoing or monthly. Um, it's, it gives a note here to say monthly fundraisers, we calculate amount received at start of each month. Ongoing fundraisers accrue indefinitely. Okay, let me say I'm going with a monthly, with a monthly goal. Okay, now I think I'll leave it at ongoing. All right, so here's your fundraising goal: enter an amount in US dollars. All right, let's say I'm trying to raise uh, five thousand dollars. It's also giving you a note. To say enter an amount with no symbols, spaces, or commas. So five thousand, you just put it as five triple zero. Okay, just for the sake of it, let me just say I'm fundraising ten thousand. Enter the amount without any commas or any symbols. So I'm fundraising ten thousand. Does your fundraiser have a time limit? Okay, let me just for the sake of this one, I'll just say yes. I'll give it a month 
or up to the end of the month so that uh, I can do another video to show whether this does work or not at the month end. Okay, so a countdown timer will be displayed. When will your fundraiser end? So let me just say it should end on the 31st of uh, January at uh, 11 p.m. Okay, so I've set uh, my goal, I've set a deadline, and I've set a timer. So I'll click on next. Next, going to say fundraiser title. Okay, um, I'll put this one. Uh, this is just testing out, so I'll say my. Uh, okay, so I'll say that I'm fundraising to boost my YouTube channel. Then it's going to say uh, pin this fundraiser. Okay, so pin this fundraiser above others on your profile. I'll say yes. Then it's going to ask me to a YouTube explainer video. I'll create one and I'll put. Uh, okay, this is optional. I'll make a video later on. So describe your fundraiser. Explain who your fundraiser will benefit, what you do, and uh, with the donations and why this is a good cause. So let me just type out something. Give me a second. Okay, so I have put uh, the details of why I'm starting this uh, crowdfunding campaign, my project funding campaign. Uh, you can check it out uh, when the site is complete. I'll leave a link in the description below. Then I'll click on next. All right, so here next, it now gives me to confirm my goal is to raise $10,000 ending on uh, 12 uh, a.m. on 31st January 2019. Um, my Bitcoin address is that. Fundraiser title is YouTube channel upgrade. Fundraiser description, which is there. And I can click on create fundraiser. Okay, so once you're done, it brings you onto this page where it basically tells you that your fundraiser details have been saved. Visit your fundraiser page and set up perks. Setting up perks is, uh, let's say, you want to reward uh, people who contribute towards your your your, your project. Um, maybe you give them a shout out in a video. You send them a piece of art. You write a handwritten letter to them, or send them photographs or something. Something to reward those for giving. Uh, some people appreciate the perks. Some people don't mind not getting any perks. It doesn't help to set up perks. So once you have set up your perks, you can view your fundraiser page. Just click on view fundraiser page. And it, uh, it's got some really, really good graphics. So it brings you onto this uh, this page. It's going to show you any, all contributions that are received will show here. It will basically keep track. Anybody who's following your campaign can come, have a look and see what you have received. Anybody can come and have a look and see what you have received. Uh, show how far you have gone in your target and uh, it's basically saying I'm trying to raise 2.74 Bitcoin at uh, today's market rate. It shows you what the Bitcoin market rate is and as, as you have seen, it also allows people to just give you a tip. Someone comes, check this out, uh, gives any amount and pays via Bitcoin. Like let's say you want to give $40, you can click on that. It will bring you here where uh, you can copy the Bitcoin address, uh, send it, and uh, once that is done, it's going to update on my page, but I can't send to myself. So you can scan the QR code, copy the Bitcoin address, just simply click here to copy the Bitcoin address. It has been copied to your clipboard. You go onto your Bitcoin wallet, paste it there, send uh, the amount that you're sending, and uh, I shall receive it, and it will update on my page. Alright guys, so I shall be following this up, um, and I'll be updating you as we go along how good this is, whether I receive any donations, uh, whether they come into my Bitcoin wallet, and I shall show you an update. You'll be able to check using my Bitcoin address there. You'll be able to see what I receive and um, in case you do donate to this uh, testing um, I'll put the money to good use if anybody does send money in case you do send to this uh, send uh, leave me a comment down below to tell me how much you have sent I can tally with uh, what you say so that uh, if this does work it means that a lot of people who have needy causes outside of America Europe they could be able to fundraise uh, using this platform and that is what I am trying to test.
so thanks for watching guys let me know what you think in the this in the comments and uh, i'll let you know how this goes at the month end Molos, bye